Hi guys, I'm Sammy and I'm going to be showing you how to make some delicious chocolate chip cookies. Right, so you're going to need some softened butter, you're going to need some caster sugar, you're going to need some light brown soft sugar, you're going to need some self-raising flour, some vanilla extract, some salt, one egg and of course 200 grams of chocolate. To get started, you're going to need a mixing bowl, a weighing bowl, a sieve, some weighing scales, a whisk, a mixing spoon, and of course a baking tray. Make sure you set your oven to 180 degrees or gas mark 4. Please get an adult to help you with this bit. Let's get started. Now you want to grab your butter. Make sure your butter is nice and soft, so get it out of the fridge nice and early so it can soften up. This makes mixing the dough so much easier. Put the butter in the mixing bowl. Now it's time to measure out our sugar. You want to measure out 100 grams of light brown soft sugar. Don't worry if you go over like I have. Just grab a spoon and pop it all back into the packet. Now you want to grab your caster sugar, you're going to need 125 grams of this and do exactly the same way out on your weighing scales. Pop the sugars in with the butter. Now you want to mix the butter and the sugars together until nice and creamy. Once creamed, it should look something like this. Now you want to grab one egg. Grab a bowl and tap the egg on the side to crack it. This can take some practice, so don't worry if you make a mess. Grab a whisk, or you can use a fork, and you want to beat the egg, lightly mixing the egg yolk and the whites together. Now you want one teaspoon of vanilla extract, so grab your teaspoon. You want to pour this right into the mixing bowl. Now it's time to mix again. Now you've got a nice mixture all creamed together, it's time to weigh out your flour. You want to weigh out 225 grams of self-raising flour. Once this is all weighed out, you're going to want to grab your sieve. Sift the flour into the main mixing bowl. We're wanting to sift the flour because it makes the flour nice and light. This makes it so much easier to form the dough. Once sifted, it's now time to grab our chocolate. Pour the chocolate into the mixing bowl. You're going to want 200 grams. Now it's time to sprinkle in a pinch of salt. Once that's all together, now it's time to start making our dough. But before we can do that, we've got to wash our hands, so head over to the sink. Once you've completed that, it's time for the messy part. It's time to make our dough. Use both hands to knead and combine the mixture. It should start coming together to form a big doughy ball. Keep working at it and it will get there eventually.
Next, you want to grab your baking tray. Mine is a non-stick baking tray, so I haven't used any baking paper. However, if you feel like you need to, pop on some baking paper as it will make it much easier to get the cookie doughs off afterwards. You're going to want to roll your dough into small walnut sized balls. You can pop them onto the tray, but make sure you give them space because they'll spread out when cooking. Once you've spread them out, you're going to want to head over to the oven and pop them in there. Make sure you set your timer. I set mine for 8 minutes because I like them nice and gooey. However, if you want them to be a bit more set, I'd leave them for around 10 minutes or so. Now it's time to get them out of the oven. Once out of the oven, leave them on the counter to let them harden up and they'll soon be ready to eat. Make sure you store them in a Tupperware to keep them fresh if you don't eat them all at once. Thank you for listening and I hope you enjoy baking your cookies.